Okay, welcome back to our program here on Inside Bicol. And my guest for tonight is a Bicolano, Freddy, I call him Freddy Imperial Ayala, from Bicol, and he's the new president of the University of Mavacaste. Uh Freddy, I'm sure that a lot of people would like us to know, sabi niya. Oh, may Ayala is now uh, the new uh, you know, group there. Ano ano yun? Magpapalit, magkakaroon ba ng mga pagbabago sa course na ino-offer nila? What are some of the things that uh, Ayala would like as far as education is concerned? Fred, I think first I'll emphasize muna what we're not changing, okay. right? I think, as I mentioned earlier, UNC has a very strong reputation in engineering, business, many of the other courses. So we will continue to offer the courses exactly the way we've offered them before. <clears throat> but there are two, two main new things that we will be adding. And one is uh, PEP, now, which I talked about earlier. That's the Professional Employment Program uh, for PEP, now, which is the last semester of senior year. And it is in that semester that we do the English immersion, we do the learning by doing, they're practicing for the jobs they will be interviewing for, they're learning the curriculum that our in industry partners have helped us co-design and we're helping them find jobs uh, as well as interview for those jobs so that is one key thing that we, we will be offering starting in fact uh, as October as the second semester comes up our existing seniors are already being offered that program so that by the time they graduate uh, early next year they'll have the benefit of that uh, the other thing that we will be introducing in uh, June of next year, as you know, K-12 is right. starting, That's true. Uh, and we will be introducing an enhanced senior high school program. So I mentioned earlier, we're one of the few early adopters together with our partners in Manila. We've actually been running grade 11 and grade 12. We graduated our first batch already in March of this year. In senior high school, it's effectively very similar to what we do in PEP at college, but of course for a younger cohort, right? And we have the benefit of two years of really working with them. And I think what's very encouraging is we've been able to, um, our, our graduates, all credit to them, have been able to achieve college level jobs in terrific companies some in Ayala, some at Accenture, some at other IT BPO companies. Uh, this, and this is as grade 12 graduates, they're already able to get jobs equivalent or even higher than other college graduates. We want to bring that, uh, we will be bringing that uh, to UNC so that in our grade 11 and 12 in UNC, they will be learning these same employability skills. When they finish, they can, many of them will want to go on to college, as they should, no? to, to keep on progressing even more. But they will have a leg up with the English and the, 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 the fundamentals of business. Some of them will want to go to college but be working students. Mm -hmm. And now that they have these skills from our senior high school program, they can actually get good jobs to help them pay for college. And then there will be others that say, you know, I really need to help my family and I want to start working immediately. So we think our senior high school graduates will have a lot more options. Okay, so it seems that the K-12 to is really good for the, for the students, no? I, the K-12 program. Yeah. We're, we're big supporters of the K-12 to program. It's necessary for the Philippines to be globally mm. competitive, and as I said, it will give students a lot more options. Okay. So we really are not expecting to have some major changes in the course that you're offering, except that you will be enhancing them. But still the same course is being offered here. Uh, we That's right. We have, we have strong deans. We have strong faculty. The courses have been successful. You know, many of our alumni are, have done very well in the, all over the country as well as abroad. But I think, uh, Fred, I, I confirm what you're saying. Uh, if, if our viewers, if your viewers would like a chance to, to better understand what we're doing, they can go to ayalaeducation.com mm -hmm. uh, forward slash PEP. Okay. So it's ayalaeducation.com forward slash PEP, which stands for Professional Employment Program. And mm -hmm. on that site, they can see what we have been doing elsewhere. 
we will be bringing that to UNC and of course modifying it uh, you know, to meet the, the BCOL requirements and UNC requirements. But that will give them a flavor. So at least there's a site where they can yes. go over. No? Now, uh, another impact is that UNC has always been identified with the Hernandez, with the season group. Now with Ayala coming here, I mean, coming in UNC, what is going to be the structure right now? And perhaps I think we, 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 a lot of people would like to know, is that a buyout? Is it completely takeover? What's really the, the structure of Ayala yeah. coming in? I think we really view it as a partnership. Yeah. We have acquired 60%, uh, which means that 40% is still in the hands of Hernandez family members. And we actually uh, consider that to be a big plus because we know that despite my roots, that we're not, right. you know, that the group is not from here mm -hmm. and it's important for us to really understand the community. Right. And so for us, it's a big plus that many members of the extended Hernandez uh, and Season clan uh, continue to be shareholders, okay. continue to be uh, part of the, the board, continue to be part of the team. Uh, you know, I, I continue to seek the advice of the you know, those who, who have helped build UNC and were part of the leadership team uh, so that we can have the best of both worlds. Uh, the message that we've tried to communicate, our objective is, I'm sorry, it's a bit corny, but mm -hmm. one plus one equals three, right? Right. The first one is what the Hernandez extended clan mm -hmm. and all the stakeholders here have already achieved with UNC. The second one is what, what we, we bring Right, from the employability side. We think there is synergy and it equals three, right? Uh, really our, our, our message is, we're calling it careers made real, right? Is, is what this combination will achieve. Careers made real means that our students will really be able to realize the full potential. We know how talented the Filipino youth are, the, the Bicol youth are, if only they can have that opportunity. So now I think by really working with the industry, we give them that edge, that, that leg up, so that they are able to pass that job interview, be given that chance. Once they are given that chance, we're sure that they will, that they will do that. Especially if they have all of the skills that we've talked about. Okay. So in effect, we, Hernandez, the season, are still part of the, the UN. Yes, okay. yes. Quite, quite a number of them, not all of them, but quite a number of them are still involved. Of course. Okay. Now, there are also people watching us, you know, one or another working with the, the UNC. And normally the, the thing that comes to their mind is that when a, a group would come in, of course they try to make it more efficient with the introduction of you know, uh, computers. Some of them may be apprehensive as far as employment. What can you say about that? Uh, Fred, I, I think I've communicated to the staff here. Uh, for us, continuity is important. Number one, again, we have a tradition of almost 70 years here. Something must be, something must be right, right? Mm -hmm. So continuity is important. The second thing is, uh, I think that efficiency, it's natural for people to be concerned about in a no growth environment. Mm -hmm. But we are anticipating a lot of growth. Uh, as I mentioned, we, we believe that we will be able to grow enrollment both through senior high school mm -hmm. as well as um, because of the employability we're, we're bringing. And therefore, there will be a lot more work for everybody. Right. So that, that really is our, our message. If we focus on UNC and the future and do the right thing for our students, then we will continue to have many opportunities for our stakeholders. What about with the facilities that you have here? You know, uh, one thing people notice here is that when there is rain, your uh, ground is converted into a swimming pool. <laughs> so, I, I would suppose you're also aware about some of this issue, especially because you did a due diligence. Study. What right. are some plans for you to improve the facilities also here at UNC? Yeah. So, I think we, we are studying a lot of things. Okay. Um, even though it feels longer, it's really been one month. We've, right. we've, we have invested for just a little over the, uh, a month. I think the first part of our process, uh, whenever Ayala gets involved with anything is is to really have a very good extensive dialogue with all the stakeholders and get everybody's inputs uh, of course we have 
we know about and we understand the, mm. the issues with the, the drainage. Okay. Uh, yeah. And we, we think there are some good solutions mm -hmm. um, available. It is definitely something that we will be addressing. Right. Uh, we, we need a bit of time to figure out what exactly we, we do, but we will definitely be addressing it. Well, I, I'm glad that you're aware also about this. No, I understand that uh, UNC is also an extension college in Bataan. I don't know. If, is that part of the UNC uh, you know, school system or what? Uh, there is uh, a nascent uh, footprint in Bataan. Right now it is just at the basic okay. ed, uh, level. And I think we, we definitely are, are going to um, continue to figure out the best way to optimize that footprint. Okay. But hang on, we, we have to walk before we run. Right. I think, uh, yes, yes, Bataan is, is an interesting and, and good mm. opportunity mm. for us. Mm. But you can imagine, for now, there's a lot to do and prioritize in terms of uh, making sure that uh, the main campus is really headed in the right direction. We will again pause for a while. When we return, we shall continue with our stuff. Don't go away.